Hi, Nicole. Hey, we're back. Hi, Mary. <laughs> okay, I have a question for you about writing. What is a craft lesson that you have learned that has changed your writing or, or a favorite craft lesson that you've learned? Mm -hmm. So I would say mine because I have always come to writing as a really long winded lengthy writer that's sort of my natural inclination is towards expansion and kind of running on and um that changed a little bit when I started writing poetry I learned to sort of contain things in in a shorter form and then when I was writing um as a, a young mom not a young mom but a new mom uh, I loved poems because I could get in and out quickly I could get something on the page without the sort of time required for the expansiveness that um was kind of a trait of mine as a writer. So the art of compression, when I sort of learned how to structure and um, really remove more than was necessary and aim to write small and focused, that changed my writing and um, improved it. And I think as a writing instructor, when I help writers learn how to do that, and it's, it can be easy as just as easy as just saying, try to write a piece that's just a hundred words, like exactly a hundred words and see what the essence of this, this bit of writing is. It helps them so much with writing, getting something down, um, writer's block, and also just shaping something um, elegantly. Like it just helps so much just capping the word count and, and working small. So that was mine. What about you? Well, I like that. I like that term working small. Mm -hmm. I, um, I think George Saunders, who is one of my favorite fiction writers, um, calls what you're talking about beautiful compression. Oh, yes. Beautiful really? compression. And it is. It's like that squeezing into a diamond, right? Like taking the rough material and finding the essence and yeah, knowing what to keep and what to cut. That's that's a big one, I think, for writers of fiction and memoir. Yeah. Maybe cool. poetry too. Maybe all the genres. Yeah. Maybe everything. Mm -hmm. um, I, so mine is actually very similar. Oh, okay. Mine is, does he need to come in here? Yeah. We have a roofer coming into the bedroom. <laughs> Hello roofer. <laughs> What's your um, favorite craft tool? <laughs> um, I'm just going to keep going. <laughs> Go for it. So mine is um, actually very similar. Mm -hmm. I heard once someone say that most stories begin too early and go on for too long. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, so they need to start later and end sooner. Mm -hmm. And I think about that all the time. Yeah. Um, I think it's a great, I just think it's a great check, you know, when I, when I do, when I do already have a draft, whether not, maybe not of an entire novel, but of like a, a chapter or a scene, it's like, does this, could this start a little later, which usually translates into like a little bit more in the middle of the action, you know, mm -hmm. and then um, maybe it, you know, it may need to go on. It may need to, to cut off a little sooner. Mm -hmm. That's, so. I find that's really true with the teaching that I've done it cr with creative nonfiction writers is that often that first, that inclination to set up in the first paragraph isn't relevant. You can usually yeah. chop the first one. Yeah. And often I find that it's the second to last paragraph. There's that's the gem of the ending yeah. and it's just moving things around. And often that I think we have a tendency towards summary, like, and that's how, or, you know, like right. that we've heard stories wrap up all the time, like in right. a sort of in our, in our brain as part of the formula, but yeah. often ending earlier is better. It improves yeah. the piece. Yeah, absolutely. And I definitely find that exactly what you're saying. I find that to be true of my own writing. Mm -hmm. By the way, a team of roofers <laughs> just came through the room and left while we were having this conversation. I so. love it. I love it. Anything can happen with Nicole and Mary. <laughs> Anytime. Yeah. Behind it's like real writing, real life. <laughs> Hashtag real life, real writing, something like that. Yeah, that's us. We're all about the real. <laughs> That was fun. I think was, it worked. That was super fun. That was super fun. Um, we have four. We have four. That might be good. That might be enough. I'm going to hit 